So, um, yes, I think it uh, was a very successful session. It demonstrates um, why, uh, why can't we have a public forum like this uh, before the election in which the, all the leaders of the political parties go up against the Prime Minister, such as happens in the UK or the US. Uh, what is, uh, why are the PAP so afraid of a public debate, uh, a competition of ideas? But I think this session has shown that um, tonight has shown the, the unity of the opposition, really, that we are all, uh, our manifestos are fairly simple, uh, quite similar. Uh, we are all um, want a better deal for Singaporeans. Um, we want to see more democracy and more freedom in Singapore. Um, and, uh, you know, what um, I think we came, our message came over uh, quite clearly that um, the uh, PAP economic record has not all but it's cracked up to be because, um, as I said at the beginning, over the last uh, maybe ten, five or ten years ago, the PAP were lauded for uh, this very high rate of economic growth. But um, you know, what we have been saying over the last five years is that that's mainly through bringing in ex foreign workers, adding extra inputs like a sausage machine without any underlying rise in productivity. And Singapore, uh, we have to ask why the government is calling this election early. Uh, you know, we're teetering on the brink of the recession. I think Singapore faces uh, quite serious economic problems, competing, we seem to just be uh, trying to compete with other nations with surplus labor, rather than uh, developing creative and innovative industries like um, uh, Scandinav the Scandinavian countries, Denmark or Israel or um, uh, the US, um, and, um, you know, we, uh, what we want to see is, uh, is um, you know, I think we've demonstrated that we could form, the opposition could potentially form an alternative government now. Very good. Yeah. And touching on the first word of your party, reform, How, do you feel a sense of reform must see uh, coming in Singapore? I uh, definitely think people want to see change and uh, they're not prepared to buy into this story that um, uh, the PAP say that they're all out, it's an inclusive Singapore. Um, you know, as they're talking about uh, growth benefiting all Singaporeans, it clearly doesn't. 